it's impossible for a cactus to grow more than three blocks in Minecraft. But with perfect timing, you can break the cactus just as it grows and it will fly forever. Everyone thinks mints are fake like bait, but have you ever wondered if minecarts are faster than ladders? Oh, this is so slow. Bruh, I'm already bored. These minecarts better be faster or I'm gonna stop watching my own video. <laughs> Yo! I'm literally Sonic. Using just a step and some perfectly placed trap doors, minecarts can go underground and through soul sand. All right, all aboard. Choo choo! And yo, I literally just phased through. Here's the thing about enchanting tables. When you walk up to them, the book opens and it actually follows you around. But can it still see us when we're invisible? Haha, <laughs> no you can't, boy. What? It can. Ever wanted vertical slabs? Apparently, we just gotta blow some stuff up to get them. Put down a wall, replace the redstone with TNT, and we should be good to go. Oh, yo! That is actually cursed. I'm pretty certain the most you can jump in Minecraft is only one block. But apparently it's 1.3, and we can actually test that using top snow. One, two, three. We have 1.3 blocks. Yeah, there's no way I'm making that jump. What? Bro, I got the hops. Supposedly, if you edit a world, scroll all the way down to the bottom and turn on Education Edition, you'll be able to craft underwater TNT. So now we have access to sodium, which we should be able to combine with TNT in a crafting table. Let's give this a go. We just put it at the bottom, on the side, on the top. Where does it go? Oh, there it is, guys. The block is actually real, but does it work? Let's give it a go. Light this bad boy up. A normal TNT for reference here, guys. And... Oh, look at that! It blow stuff up. Fireworks can make amethyst music. Let's give it a go. I just hear the fireworks. Wait. Yo, that's so pretty. By combining honey, water, gates, and stairs, you can make an automatic escalator. This is perfect for my lazy lifestyle. I'm going with no hands right now. By using commands, you can unlock a ton of secret blocks that none of your friends will have, including the structure block. What did that even do? I don't know, guys. The structure void, which kind of looks like a barrier, but a square, as well as the allow block, which um, don't even ask me what that means. I, I guess it allows things. But then on the converse of that, guys, there's the deny block. I wouldn't want one of these guys. But honestly, these are cool decoration blocks. Not to mention the light block, which probably some of you guys already know about, which actually allows you to place invisible light sources around the area. And when you're not holding the item, poof, they vanish. Feathers are heavier than anvils. Let's put that to the test. Down we go, the race of the century, which will land first. My bet is obviously on the anvil, guys. It is way heavier. That is... We need a slow-mo replay of that, but I'm pretty sure the feather just landed first. No way this is actually real. Slime blocks can see through clouds. How does that work? They don't even have eyes. Wait, yo... The clouds literally don't exist, but you can see them in the glass, but not in the slime block. How? Respawn anchors are scary, at least apparently to Hoglins. Yo, look at him just zoom off. Wait, just so it isn't a fluke. Bro, these blocks can actually low-key protect you. Even with leather boots, powdered snow is inescapable at world height. Put. Oh my goodness. What the? Guys, I literally cannot get out of it. What the? Wait, we'll try to get on top of here, guys. Put. Oh my goodness. You can't. This is the most brutal trap ever. If lightning strikes ancient debris, it turns into bedrock? Bro, that would be overpowered. Okay, would any lightning? All right, you know what? We're bringing down lightning ourselves. What bam? Where is my bedrock? Where is my bedrock? I have been capped. Arrows can go through honey blocks? Nope. Wait, I actually think they can. You just got to do it through the slightly clearer bit because it's not as thick honey. Whoop. Hey, bro, it literally went through. Water bubbling from soul sand can't be touched by lava. What does that mean? Won't it just turn into obsidian or stone or cobblestone or something like that? This makes no sense. All right, chuck down the lava. Yeah, this is all about to be over. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what is going on? You guys see this? Bro, the lava is just sliding over the water. It's just chilling. Anvils can stop TNT explosions. Yeah, nah, pretty sure only water can do that. What? That thing didn't even take a scratch. You can get a respawning end crystal in the overworld? No, you can't. They only exist during this dragon resummoning ritual. Or not. We just jump in the set here and break one of the crystals. Bang! We're back in the overworld. Okay, so I guess we just head back to the end and they should still be there. Oh, no. I feel like I've stuffed this up. Fingers crossed, guys, right now. Oh, there they are. And they're not moving. This could actually work. Okay, so now what we need to do is push one of these into the portal, which has reappeared. If we do one wrong move, it's going to blow up in our faces. All right, we got that there. This is so tricky. Did it, did it just go through? You can dye amethyst cluster crystals different colors. How have I never heard of this before? 
You know why I've never heard of it before? It doesn't work. None of these dies. Look at this, guys. Bop, 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 bop. Nothing. Bro, you can only get purple amethyst crystals. This is absolute cap. Water can travel through air. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Oh my gosh. Bro, the water is here and somehow it's still made this dirt moist. How? Where are the invisible particles going? Torches aren't the only block that can break gravity blocks like sand and gravel. So can soul sand? No way. Using this a big brain doohickey machine, my bob, you can permanently open a barrel. Just open it once and you should be good to go. Well, what is going on? Wait, guys, it's not closing. Hold up, but if I stop the machine, will it stay open? Bro, it actually will. What the? That looks cursed. Can I pick it up? Yo, look at my inventory. It's even open there, but if I place it down, it's closed. This makes no sense, Minecraft. By typing slash item, replace entity A with the squiggle around at the at symbol armor dot head with, you're gonna have any block or item on your head that you could possibly imagine. Glass block, boom, I'm an astronaut. You wanna turn me into a caveman? Boat, done. You wanna go ahead and make me a unicorn? I mean, I already am a unicorn, I'm that beautiful. You can do that with an end rod. It's, it's awesome. But no, maps can see every kind of block. I don't believe there's like a stealth block or an invisible block, let alone that would be redstone lamps. I mean, you can see them. This entire area into redstone lamps and you can't see it on the map. Cake is the fastest method of transportation for horses? That's just stupid. I mean, delicious, but stupid. Let's give it a go here, guys. And you, that was literally speed. I am the Flash, I am Sonic. By placing lava in four sides of a cross, you can create an infinite lava source. I mean, it works. Look, all of that's flowing into the center. All right, empty bucket. Guys, you can't pick up the lava. Look at this. I'm clicking and nothing is happening. If I pick up one of the sides, yeah. All right, infinite lava sources do not exist. I wish they did, but they do not. Prismarine blocks change color? No, they don't. They just stay the same blue this whole time. All right, let's have a look at up here. Wait, hold up. Is that already a different color? Am I crazy? Okay, no. So they're about the same color. Hold up. Is that one getting greener? No. Wait, I think it is. Yo, it's actually... It's actually changing color. Look, it's getting more blue now. Gold can't mine faster than netherite. I mean, look at this absolute speed. It's the rarest tool in the game, all right, compared to gold. Oh my good. Maybe I should be using gold pickaxes. Cactus can destroy netherite, but bro, it's literally immune to lava. You're telling me that a cactus can destroy it? What? That makes no sense. If you arrange your ladders and trapdoors just right, you can actually climb them. How does this make sense? Minecraft blocks are so strange. You can't mine gold ore with a gold pickaxe. Wait, that didn't drop anything. No, it can't be, but you can mine iron with an iron pickaxe. You can mine diamond with a diamond pickaxe. This may, what? Okay, you know what? Take that back, gold pickaxe is lame. Beacons can pass through bedrock. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Bedrock is unbreakable, it's invincible. It sucks all light out of everything. Let's chuck it down. And apparently everything else in this chest, it can also go through. Okay, there are some blocks that I just do not believe for a Like anvils? Chests? What? How does that make any sense? Cauldron? These are literally full blocks right now. Okay, let's give it a go. Anvil? It just keeps going. Chest? It keeps going. Cauldron? Bro. These items are lame. 